Good morning, everyone. I'm preparing for my morning painting, and I'm in my kitchen. I think after I finish this, I'm either going to cut down or do some like long portraits of fruit, not portraits of fruit, but paintings of fruit, like carrots and like a different format from the square. You know, because I was thinking of that with this. I'm going to do, I thought I would do a cucumber, but I'm going to cut it up so we could see the inside of it too. Uh, as I'm in my kitchen, I'm taking my beautiful glass. This was my friend, Rita Christophides. She's a painter also, an artist and graphic designer. This was her mom's, and I was thinking of mom's today because as I was setting up, I had all these dishes in the dish clean. I washed the dishes from the night before, but my mom loved to cook. She was like this a great Italian cook and she was always cooking, she loved to cook, but always the dishes, you know. I just put away the dishes this morning, the clean dishes from the rack, drying. I'm going to set up my food to eat and I'm also, while I'm doing that, going to prepare some water because I washed this with soap, but I'm gonna rinse it now, but I already washed it several times. And a good thing to wash the vegetables and fruit with, especially during this time, is white vinegar because you can digest white vinegar. Also, you can clean with it, you know, not just fruit. So it's a good thing to clean with. Anyway, so I was thinking of mom's. <laughs> uh, while I'm preparing my water, I do have a water filter at my sink. I oh, hear that? I like that sound. Reminds me of summer. And I'm going to put some cucumbers, besides painting them, I'm going to put it in my water. This could make a nice painting too. All right, so I'm going to set this up. So I have the beautiful color in. I just thought it would be nice because I was talking about doing green paintings and I do a lot of landscape and painting in Italy and I need to get myself to Ireland and just painting in, in Vermont and New Hampshire and especially New Hampshire. It's very green, much more green without other colors than I guess because it has so many evergreens to paint that you know you have to get that balance and maybe put a barn in there or something but in the river but anyway again following up with I talked about white paintings and just talking about the subject matter and now I'm going to do this green cucumber I just did my sketch I do my sketches because that's how I started that series and it also keeps me a little bit focused on the composition so just, sometimes it's just fun to start and see where it goes without sketching, but for the purpose of this series, I sketched it. Make sure my greens are wet. I'm focusing on painting green, which I mentioned I d would do. I focused on painting some white when I did the eggs, when I painted the cauliflower, which thank you, the cauliflower is finding a new home. I'm sketching and, you know, the more you look at something, rather than taking a picture of it. The children are really loving this time because they're home with their, their family and they're together. And I guess it's a nice security. So be patient with them and just know how much they um, enjoy you. How when I watch uh, my friend Susan Greenstein, another artist, turned me on to the video with the dog Pluto and he does the daily, it's so funny. It's on YouTube. Hysterical. And I love to watch it. It's just a good laugh every day. I love cats, but I love the one he did on April Fool's. I don't now, but I always had growing up and, you know, earlier on, cats and dogs. So, and then when I was on my own, cats. So, daily YouTube. So cute. I hope you're trying to watch my vlog. Please share it. Please watch. <laughs> Share it with friends. Keep it on in the background. Have it on even if you're not watching it. That's helpful to me. <laughs> I do have newsletters, so I can share that with you if you can contact me uh, on my website. If you go to my website, clarestokalosa.com, there's a place to sign up. But anyway, just follow me here. A lot of people send me emails. If you'd like to share them and share your thoughts, I'm not going to share your email. That's between us, but if you want to share a comment, either from an event you went to with me and enjoyed, I'm hoping to do some uh, remote events 
or just want to write a comment about if you enjoyed it, what you'd like to see and hear about. Notice, yeah, I'm putting um, green down in my tomato to give it some shadow, and green and red are opposite colors. I remember when I was working with a group of teachers and for the DOE, and they were doing working with outside agencies, and we were sharing in our classroom. One of the organizations said, what? It was a, it was all artist dance. I was working with visual artists and we were putting together learning and questioning. And I remember one of the uh, leaders who was involved in theater said, I don't understand. Why do all the teachers always have that the lessons with the color wheel. Everyone does that. It's just so interesting. It is very basic. However, color is so important. And I guess it's like, why do you need to know how to add <laughs> and subtract? Mixing and matching. And it's just, it's, I guess, the fundamentals. And even as advanced as you become, you may not be talking about the basic color wheel and the primary and secondary colors, but it becomes intuitive and second nature, but it's so important. I wish I had watermelon to paint because you have that rind and you have the red of the watermelon and the edge and then that white in between. I guess that cucumbers are refreshing because it's making me think of watermelon in summer back here. Just put in some of the lines. So hopefully I'll get some of this videoed. Yeah, having a lot of technical issues, so if any of you could give me some heads up, I would greatly appreciate hearing from you about that. So for the seeds, I want to make sure, I want to stay light. Some of it has a little more green coming on, it's only going towards that center, that's circular. I'll just be blue, put a little violet. I will. You know me, I'll definitely get some violet in there. And of course, may, you know, wherever your angle is, like I'm sitting here, you're seeing the camera there. It's always a little different, right? So depending on your point of view, that's why it's always cool if you're maybe working on a still life together or if you're home, you can kind of change the angle of it. Just thinking as I go and getting a different point of view of that same object. palette I haven't been using. Get some blue there here in Manhattan and online. Kramer paints. Excuse me, pigments. And you can get the pigments to make oils and it's like a ca what a candy store that place is. Ugh. For artists, it's crazy. It's like you walk in there and it's like it's heaven. They have jars of different color pigments. And I like them, but it also is an advantage of having the consistency of, you know, using paint from, you know, say, paint from the tube, the higher quality paint, you know, you don't have to, but I'm selling my work and I, I find, you know, I want people say that, oh, you know, someone just said it to me the other day, you know, it's watercolors fade. But I really don't, you know, I have some watercolors for years. I, not if you're, maybe that's true, but I think that pigments and paint have a really good and they actually hold up quite well, you know. And if you have, I use good quality paper, even though I was complaining about this, it's good paper. I really don't find that to be the case. I mean, you don't want to maybe put it in like super, super strong sunlight, but I find no problem. I have a painting right in my window and I get beautiful light all day. It's strong as ever, the colors. It's from flowers from the botanical garden. It hasn't faded. I often, not always, I use the plexiglass and for this series, I'm getting them framed with the, the one with the UV, which I often use, so. It protects it even more from the sunlight and it's total, everything is archival quality, high quality to make it last even longer. My new framer added to my list. 
Dominic, who I mentioned earlier, who I can send my work to. And he could send me pictures and then ship them out. I'm really happy about that. So funny how I used to, uh, I always say Roman home. Didn't always enjoy Rome as much as I do now because it reminded me a little, even though it's totally different, but kind of has that hustle and bustle of, of New York, which I love, but I'm here. So, but I've really grown to uh, love it over the years and appreciate it. I love Florence because I went to school there in college and I don't know it as well as I could know but I know it pretty well I could just like can go through the streets and find my way around and find my favorite places and but again it's nothing like having like a really incredible tour guide who an art historian that's what I love in Italy the the guides all have to be and that's not true for all of Europe but in Italy, they have to be the ones from Italy who were trained in Italy, even though many people can work there now, have to have their credentials and really, you know, be art historians and have their specialty. So, hey, if you have someone who has a specialty in a certain area, certain period of art, can't beat that. And then, of course, if it's their hometown, well, can't beat that. So hopefully I'm able to get these videos off to you and some of what I did. If it's a little redundant, I don't know what got videoed and what got cut out. It was so fine in the beginning, but now struggling with that, with um, the technical end of it all. Just to see how it's, I don't know if you can tell. I'm just kind of holding it there and it's absorbing in. Put a little bit of violet. Go back to the seeds. This, this is a little darker for me. very wet. It's bleeding a little bit. Hope this video works. All right, so there you go. Take care and please subscribe. Bye.